Shalom Gracious, happy to see you again. I'm Pastor Bing Ong and I'm a pastor with Grace Missioner Communities. Today, we are reflecting on Acts chapter 18. In Acts 18, Paul met Aquila and Priscilla in Corinth and preached the word of God to the Jews and the Gentiles. The Jews opposed him, but many Corinthians got saved. Paul traveled and strengthened the churches in Syria, Ephesus, Jerusalem, and Antioch. Meanwhile, Priscilla and Aquila heard Apollos preaching in Ephesus and explained the way of God more accurately to him. The key verses I've chosen for today are Acts chapter 18, verses 9 to 11. Would you like to read together with me? Let's read together. One night, the Lord spoke to Paul in a vision and told him, Don't be afraid. Speak out. Don't be silent, for I am with you, and no one will attack and harm you. For many people in this city belong to me. So Paul stayed there for the next year and a half, teaching the word of God. Paul had left Athens to come to Corinth to preach the gospel to the Jews and the Gentiles. From the key verses, we read that one night, God spoke to Paul in a vision and told him to keep preaching the word despite the opposition and that he would be with Paul and would not allow anyone to harm him. From these verses, they reminded me of a dream I had one night many years ago. In this dream, I was flying around the world in an airplane to do missions. Beside me was an empty seat. I remember there was a strong presence of the Lord in the plane and I was very joyful that the Lord took me around the world. I woke up the next day curious to know why there was an empty seat beside me. Did it mean I am to do missions alone? I sensed the Lord telling me the empty seat meant He was beside me and will be with me wherever He sends me. Soon after the dream, the Lord opened doors for me to do missions in different countries in Asia with missions teams from my previous church. In those early years, I went on the trips with fear and trembling, but would return home grateful that God had used me as his mouthpiece to proclaim the gospel despite my fears. When God led me to Grace Assembly to serve as a cell pastor in 2001, I had no idea this church is strong in missions. Right from the first year in Grace, I was assigned to lead teams to different countries. So my missions journey continues in Grace Assembly. Today, I'm serving in missions as the country director of Myanmar. God has been faithful to His promise to me. He's with me in all my mission trips. Though I did not encounter fierce persecution from men in my trips, I did experience spiritual attacks. But God was with me to preserve me in every trip. I remember I had vertigo in one of the trips to Myanmar. The amazing thing is, the vertigo would leave me when I had to venture out of the hotel every morning to do ministry. It would return to afflict me when I was back to the hotel in the evening. This went on for a few days. When I finally returned to Singapore from the trip, I was completely healed. Praise the Lord. Christians, perhaps you are afraid to share Christ with the lost, not knowing what to expect. Do not be afraid. Know that the Lord who commissioned you to share the gospel to a lost world will be with you and will protect you wherever He sends you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you who commissioned us to evangelize this world is faithful to be with us and powerful to keep us wherever you send us. I pray we will not fear for our lives I pray we will only fear disobeying your command to go and share the gospel to the lost. In Jesus' name, I pray. 
Amen. Thank you, Gracious, for joining me today. Do take some time now to look at the application questions prepared for you and your family. Have a blessed week ahead. Bye.